You know, and first and foremost, I, I think about my life and I think about adversity and I think about opposition, but for the most part of my life, I've been on this quest to figure out how can I work hard for something and my performance is not based upon the outcome. How can I work and my, my effort and my motivation and my drive is not based upon what the product will be, but more so based upon me taking pride in what I do. And so I came up with this thing called process over product and I firmly believe the process saved my life. And what I mean by the process, I'm talking about the way I handle my business on a daily basis and the way I go about every single aspect of my life. I live by this thing called empty the bucket. And when people hear it, they think it's a cute slogan. Empty the bucket, but what they don't understand, it is an unspoken law of accountability and responsibility to me on this earth and my existence and everybody that's connected to me. I may be crazy, but I don't know. I just believe that I'm supposed to give everybody that's connected to me the best version of me. I just believe I deserve to give my wife and my children the best version of me. I just believe the people that I'm of service to on this earth, I deserve to give them the best version of me. You see, the thing about chasing a product, and what the product is, the product is money. The product is a house, the product is a car. The thing about chasing a product, the product can always change. And if your performance is always based upon the product, what happens when the products change and you don't take pride in what you do? But the thing about loving the process, everybody wants to prize, but nobody loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. Your expectations never supposed to exceed your effort. But a lot of people, they wish, and they're not willing to work. And the great thing about life, life has a funny way of testing all of us and seeing how bad we really want what it is that we say we want. Because the thing I know about people, people can talk to talk. And people do it very well. But life is going to hit you with a certain level of opposition. Life is going to hit you with a certain level of adversity. And life is going to say to you, you said you wanted it, now let's see how bad you really want it. But the great thing about it, if you love the process, when opposition and adversity hits, you will have a way of embracing it and using it, not only for yourself, but you will use it to make everybody that's connected to you stronger because your vision has to be larger than yourself. If everything that you do is just about you and for your personal gain, something's gonna come up against you that's gonna be a lot tougher than you. And if it's just about you, the moment you hit it, you're gonna quit and give up every time.